On this episode of the Globe Sports Corner, the Academic Success Center staff gets a spotlight on its outreach for bettering the academics of student athletes. We take a look into the record-breaking season opener for the Maple Leaf track and field teams and speak with head coach Sean Fawkes on the upcoming season. And we end with the best of Globe Sports and a Globe Blooper Reel. All that and more on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome inside the Globe Studios. My name is Liliana Herrera, kicking off the final sports corner of the semester. The, the year is quickly coming to a close, but we still have a lot to look forward to in the last episode of the season. With some winter sports playing into finals week and the upcoming spring semester pending, student athletes try to find time to balance school and play. With the help of the Academic Success Center, student athletes can truly stay in the game. Colin Eccles has the story. As each semester winds down for student athletes at Goshen College, the stress of balancing sports and class workload can greatly increase. Luckily for them, there's two GC staff members they can turn to. This is Isaac Hernandez and Jesse Lowen, two of the counselors at the Academic Success Center. As workloads pile up, part of their job is to help students simply navigate their day-to-day. -day. A lot of what I do during the day is helping students one-on-one, student athletes, commuters, first gens, sort of students of all kinds um, manage uh, disability services, organization, time management, sort of thinking about you know, how do, how do they make the most out of their day, their week, their semester? Baseball junior and biology major Trent Sillett says that help with organization makes sure that he stays on top of more than just his classes. Academic Success Center really has helped me uh, be able to help hone in my organizational skills and find that real scheduled time uh, throughout the day to either get homework in, even be able to eat, sleep, stuff like that. Both Hernandez and Lowen say that organization is a big part of finding success in college life. One of their favorite tools is found right on your computer. Using Google Calendar, using physical planners, using their, their phone calendar, sort of whatever device or system they're using, we try to kind of have them all blend together. Lowen and Hernandez do more than just help student athletes with academics. They also get to know them as members of the GC community. I'm happy to learn more about who the students are because like Jesse said, it makes it a lot more easier to just converse about some of the other stuff that happens. Silla says that the pair is a bright spot for both athletes and other students around campus. Jesse, Isaac, everyone in the Academic Success Center is just always so open and welcome to having simple, just nice day-to-day -day conversations. Globe Sports, Colin Eccles. Finals are coming down hard on a lot of students, but it's great to see the Academic Success Center providing so much support. Let's shift gears now and turn our attention to the Goshen College men's and women's track and field teams. The indoor season kicked off this past Friday at the Blue and Gold Invite, and it's safe to say the Maple Leafs are off to a hot start. Senior Annika Aldifer fisher kicked off the season by breaking the women's school record in the 800-meter race, a time that was just set last year. On the men's side, first year Daniel Murphy broke another record in his debut, setting the new school time of 7 seconds in the men's 60-meter sprint. Now that's not the last we'll see of the track and field team today. Coming up, we'll be joined in the Globe TV studios by none other than Sean Fawkes, head coach of the track and field team, to learn more about the team's incredible start. To Goshen College, everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique, supportive community, right here in Northern Indiana. Cutting edge academics, real world learning, and small, personalized classes make the difference all surrounded by world-class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Inside the Globe TV studios on the campus of Goshen College, I'm Lily Herrera, and joining me now is the head coach of the Goshen College track and field program, Sean Fawkes. Coach, how are you today? I'm doing well, how are you? Pretty good. It's a little cold out, but I'm enjoying this weather for now. Understandable. Let's get right into it. So your season opener at Notre Dame last Friday, huge success for you mm -hmm. and your athletes. Tell me, what did preseason practice and workouts look like for you guys? Preseason practice for uh, track and field athletes, a lot of it is just getting us into shape when we start our official practices in the beginning, uh, middle of October. And then it's really just focusing on getting the volume work in that we need to to be at a good point. I mean, we do most of our season after winter break, so we're really trying to gear up for those last couple meets um, before we leave for Christmas break and then put us on a good pace so when we come back, we're ready to rock and roll. 
Awesome. And I know you had some big placements for you and your seniors, especially Annika Fisher mm -hmm. in track, who broke the women's record set by Summer Cooper last season. But tell me about freshman Daniel Murphy and how he was able to make a record-breaking debut. Uh, Daniel Murphy, or Breezy as he goes by on the track team, um, he's been working extremely hard since he got here day one. Uh, the biggest thing for him has been to try and be a push and a motivator for his teammates around him. So every day you see him coming in and putting the work in and practice, then you'll see him in the weight room afterwards. I mean, he's just a workhorse. So he's got big goals in mind, and we've got big goals for him too. He's only about .14 off the uh, B standard for nationals right now. So, I mean, it's a solid place to be as a freshman. That's amazing. And now this is your second year as head coach for track mm -hmm. and field. Tell me, what was different from last season to now? I think the biggest difference for me is just a more familiarity with the team in general and how things are done here in Goshen. Um, first couple of years are always, you know, just trying to get your footing, but I think we had a lot more stable footing this year. And you know, in the off season, we we made a coaching transition with our sprints coach John Cook, and we brought in Mandy Lloyd, and she's done some phenomenal things for our sprint group. But Kyle Mishler on jumps, Jacob Gerber helping with throws, Rustin Nice on the distance squad, and we have a recruiting coordinator, uh, John Emerson, that's based out of state to help us with some of the out of state recruiting as well. It's been a phenomenal um, group to work with. That's amazing to hear. Having such a good group of coaches really helps a lot. Now, finally, tell me, what are you expecting out of your athletes for this upcoming season? You know, the biggest thing we need to do is continue to move the needle. I mean, the last time I was in here, we talked about the idea that we're trying to move the needle in the right direction of being a complete team, right? Not just distance, but speed and power as well. And we have a really good incoming class this year, and we've got the base for a really good incoming class next year as well. But for this year's group, we have potential to send people in the jumps, the sprints, the throws, and the distance events to nationals. And ideally, we would love to finish higher in the conference. Um, personally, I'd like to see us finish top five if we could. And I think we could achieve that this year. And that would be something that we haven't done here in Goshen in a long time. That's awesome to hear. And you know, thank you for joining us so much. And best of luck to you and your athletes. Thank you very much. After a short break, we will take a look at the best of what Globe Sports has to offer and everyone's favorite, Globe Bloopers. Stick with us, you're watching the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. We're back on the Globe Sports Corner, and usually around this time in the show, we would be presenting our Globe Highlight of the Week. But since it's our last episode of the semester, instead we're going to take a look at the best of the best these past few months. It will read humidity, the heat, sun intensity, the actual ambient temperature, and then get the breeze. So it takes all those things into consideration to get you the most accurate read of what that temperature is. Though it's still early in the season, the coaches and players are looking forward to a year of successes. A little bit of excitement and a little bit of progress as we move forward, and that'll get more people in the gym, more people start coming to matches. This weekend, student athletes, coaches, and athletic staff put on their Sunday best and gathered together in the Humble Center to celebrate and honor athletic achievements at GC's most prestigious event, the Leafies. We have three new new captains this year, and they've really stepped into that into that role. They're all different, but we've also had other players that don't have the title of captain who are who are leading. You know, so I think that's very important as well. When the players are leading the team in those ways and holding themselves accountable, that's when you're going to see really big things. With nine players all starting fresh, everyone is now in the same playing field. Um, I think in the past we've had guys that have been here four years, two years, and then new guys. So it was kind of we're kind of split up. But I think this year, since almost everyone's new, everybody's had to be together and gel together. So I think um, the chemistry we have now and the relationships we're building will be really important throughout the season, especially for us. Well, right now, 13 is kind of like a middle of the season, uh, kind of just number that's showing what we have done so far. A lot of our team uh, has a really high potential, like all the way up here. They're, 
they're set to compete really well and race really well. Both seniors share the bittersweet sentiment of wrapping up their college career, but they made memories over the years that they can take with them into their future. I'm going to miss the, uh, the teammates, the camaraderie we had with the team, the coaches, obviously. I've been with the guys for three years now. This is my third year here, and just happy I got to be part of the program and involved with all the guys. And this was one of his favorite parts of the year. I mean, he loved all the travel and stuff in the spring, but because it was among the baseball players themselves, he really loved seeing the kids at their best and playing against each other and really having a good time. With the inaugural season right around the corner, Coach Curtis is excited to get things started. And that's the biggest thing is having these, you know, the, the faculty and staff and the students there to watch these kids bowl because this is all new to everybody, even them as freshmen coming in. Miller says it was an easy decision to send her squad to the pool for recovery efforts at the start of her tenure, as at the time, the Rec Fitness Center featured an indoor pool. Once that was removed in 2012, Miller turned her attention to the nearby aquatic center at the Goshen Middle School. Why come to GC? I basically fall in love a little bit with that imagination of, of playing and, and studying in the USA because I'm, I like that US mentality of like never giving up. Academic success center really has helped me uh, be able to help hone in my organizational skills and find that real scheduled time uh, throughout the day to either get homework in, even be able to eat, sleep, stuff like that. Just some amazing clips in that montage and such a good way to look back on the semester. Now, we usually only show you guys the best of the best when it comes to Globe TV, but there will always be some goofs and gaffes. And thankfully, we've got a montage for that too. And uh, to start off that big week, we're gonna take a look at some of the matchups that are happening tonight. Teleprompter needs to, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that's when it ended. <laughs> We're back on the Globe Sports Corner, and it's now time that we present to you our Globe Highlight of the Week, and uh, our Globe Spotlight of the Week, not the Highlight of the Week. Gosh. Oh, I, think you're wrong. I, I know. <laughs> In place of the Highlight of the Week, it goes without saying that the cross country. Cr oh my good lord. Holy cow. The Crossroads League Championships, the men play. Oh my lord. Get I'm a loser. Let's dive right in. Can we go from the turn? You won't want to miss out. That was a terrible turn. Can we do that one again? For a short break, they'll have a double header on Wednesday the 15th. They'll play Bethel. Oh, run it back. Now we're going to turn our attention to the Maple Leaf Minute with our very own Amelia Lee here to give us the rundown on all... Sorry, can we restart that? <laughs> Colin, you never said to go. And the women host Bethel with kickoff at 7. You can find all that info and more by following us on our social media. Kate, you blew it. Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> Should we just do it so over again? Thank Learn more about her squad and what fans can expect out of the Maple Leafs in 2020. Hey Sam, don't forget your all camera on camera for we can all see you just kind of leaning against the wall on your phone. Now that we have those bloopers out of the way, let's take a look at a big achievement, the Everett Student Athlete of the Week. Daniel Murphy, who as we mentioned earlier in the show, broke the school record for the 60 meter sprint in his Maple Leaf debut. Impressive work for the first year. We'll be sure to keep an eye on his trajectory moving forward after this incredible start. After a short timeout, we'll get some upcoming GC Sports coverage on the Maple Leaf Minute. More to come on the Globe Sports Corner. Stick around. So you just graduated from Goshen College. What experiences prepared you for this job?
Where do I begin? Inside the Globe Studios, I'm Liliana Herrera, and you're watching the Globe Sports Corner. It's that time of the show, time to take a look ahead at what's to come in Goshen College Athletics with the Maple Leaf Minute. Joining me now in the Globe Studios is Colin Eccles. Colin, how's next week looking in athletics? You know, as we move into finals week, Christmas break, things start to slow down a little bit, but that doesn't mean that we don't have a full schedule on the docket for some GC athletics. With Christmas break just days away for GC athletes, there is still no shortage of Maple Leaf action on the docket. It starts this Friday, December 8th with the men's and women's indoor track and field teams headed to Fort Wayne for the Warrior Invitational at Indiana Tech. First events will fire off at 11 a.m. Then we head to the hardwood with men's basketball on the road this Saturday, December 9th, with some change of pace as they tip off in their break with an exhibition game against Loyola Chicago at 6. Then it's a home afternoon midweek matchup on December 12th as the Leafs host the St. Xavier University Cougars. Tip off for that one is in the Ruth Gundon scheduled for 3. Then how about a trip down south? The men finish out their pre-Christmas schedule in Florida. It starts December 15th against the Weber International Warriors at 5 and finishes on the 16th against the Warner Royals at 4. And last but certainly not least, it's women's basketball. You know, that team that's on an eight-game in a row win streak and is undefeated in conference play. They'll head out west for a road trip stint in Arizona. They start on December 14th against the Park University Gilbert Buccaneers. That game tips off at 2, and they'll wrap things up on December 16th against the Arizona Christian Firestorm at 3. To check out the full schedule for the remainder of the 2023 calendar year, head to GoLeafs.net. And as always, we wish the best of luck to our GC athletes in action over the holiday break. Colin, thank you for that report. That'll wrap up this final episode of the Globe Sports Corner. But remember, you can always keep up with all things Globe Sports on all our socials at 91.1 The Globe on Facebook, Instagram, and the X app, formerly known as Twitter. Our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe and our website, globeradio.org. While you're at it, check out the Globe Radio app. You can stream the Globe anywhere you go 24-7, including full coverage on our live sports broadcast throughout the year. Thank you all for watching the final episode this season of the Globe Sports Corner. We'll be back in January with more exclusive coverage on Maple Leaf Athletics. In the meantime, though, for all the Globe Sports crew, for Colin Eccles, I'm Liliana Herrera. Thanks for watching.